In this video, you're going to learn how to set background images. First of all, we're going to go to um, our HTML project folder and copy the image folder from there to the uh, CSS folder. Okay. So, now we're going to set a background image to the Facebook div. But first of all, let's change a little bit the dimensions. Let's set the height to 100 pixels. Okay, that looks uh, good. Now, rather than having a background color, we want a background image. So the syntax is pretty easy. Background image. And now we're going to refer to the location of the uh, image using the uh, URL uh, property. And we're going to uh, go to Images. And we want to choose Picture.jpg. Okay. Now we can see that the background of Facebook has got the picture we uh, selected. But the problem is the dimensions are not very good for us. So now we want to scale the image so that it fits exactly the uh, Facebook div. So one way of doing that is by using the background size. And now we're going to set the width and the height using percentage, uh, percentages. So if we set the width to 100% and then the height to 100%, so that means that the uh, picture new size is going to fit exactly the size of the div. Okay. If we set that to 50% 50, 50 and 50%, we can see that the size of the image is actually one quarter of the overall size of the div and it's repeated four times. If we don't want the image to be repeated, and there is another property, it's the background repeat. And we can set that to no repeat. So there are other options that you can choose, uh, repeat X, repeat Y, etc. But if we choose no repeat, then the picture is not going to be repeated. Okay. All right. So let's go back to 100%, 100%. That looks good. Uh, now, there is another property, is the background origin. So let's try that. Okay. So there are several choices there. The default choice is that the image has got an origin starting from the border box, which is our case now. So the border. So the border is there. So if we if the image starts from there, you can see it as we are seeing it now. If the image starts from, from the contents box, which is the paragraph, the Facebook paragraph, then the image is going to start from here. Let's try that. So if we set it to content box, now the image starts from there. Okay. And all the dimensions are going to be related to the dimensions of the content box. Okay. Okay. Now let's move to the Apple div and do the same thing. So we're going to choose a background image rather than a background color. So background image and we're going to select the locations of the image. Okay, first let's change the height as well to 100 pixels. And now let's set the background size. And this time, rather than using a percentage, we're going to choose an actual uh, size. So let's go for 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So you can see that the image takes exactly the size of 100 pixels by 100 pixels. If we want the image to not repeat, just going to go again, background repeats. 
no repeats okay and now okay let's try again the background origin If we go for border box, it's not going to change anything because that's by default the image origin is the uh, border box. Now we're going to try something new. We're going to set the position of the image. So to do that, we're going to use the background position. And there are several choices there. So the position is going to tell where the image is gonna uh, go so is it gonna go to the left right top bottom or center of the div okay so if we choose for instance the uh, top of the div so you can see that's the uh, image well first of all the origin is the border box and it's going to be uh, centered at the top if we choose bottom then it's going to be uh, centered, centered at the bottom and so on okay and now if we go back to left so it's going to be centered at the left okay and we can play with the dimensions of the image if we want to for instance have an image right on the left of the apple text so if we forget about the background position and we change the background size to 50 by 50 pixels for example we can play with that so that we can have the image right next to the text and we will see a little bit a little bit more um, how to use this way of doing when we're doing projects okay